It's medical shit. Yeah. It's medical shit. Yeah. It's medical shit. Yeah. It's medical yeah. shit. Mm. Let me say this about myself. I don't do this for the fame or the wealth. I do it because I love it. Not for the about 10 years. Wow. Last time I seen him, I was in it with one of his groceries. Well, I told you about Game Face. Yes. Yeah. So, and I want to give you some more information about Game Face, fellas. Federally registered Schedule One marijuana industrial hemp of New Jersey, farm and research and development. Uh, we have a farm in Jersey and Patterson, and we have a farm in California. Nice. Um, registered under federal law, Title Twenty One, United States Code, Controlled Substance Act, Section Eight Eight Five, Burden of Proof and Liabilities. <laughs> so all that we're allowed to possess through commerce, trade, warehouse. We can grow up to seventeen plants, and um, you know I'll fill you in after we're off camera. On, but it, but it, but it's been working well. So. You know, love you, know you know, we, 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 we're one of the front runners of the medical marijuana fight and struggle in L.A. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's definitely a lot that we could have to talk about because we need to really connect. It's really cool. Yeah, we have man. a lot of cool things going on. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, you know, I got the Madison record, 2015. Pow. You know, Tretch, Do It All, Keith Murray, Diamond Dozen, Minty Burns. And, uh, you know, I'm working on this project I'm going to do for, like, free download called Christmas Tree. That's what's up. Gotta get Mad Lion on Christmas tree. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm also gonna do the remix to that. Come on, let's go. Right away. Right away. Oh yeah, I'm doing two things at one time. But um, yeah. Um, also got this documentary, Hip Hop and Hemp, the Fabric of American Culture, showing how hip hop Big is what made all of this weed, cannabis, legalization. For me, hip hop made it all possible because we laid the cultural groundwork where people to come out the closets as potheads. Definitely. Pulling your guys down now. All right, showtime. Shia! Yeah. No respect in every aspect. Salute, We're brother. To go. Yeah, man. No respect, brother. Yeah, man. Let's go. Turn the live and direct right fast. God rock him. You already know. In the building. Peace and love, all right? Came to a little one chose now, man. Give me a couple minutes to do my thing. I'm going to see if I can stretch it out, girl. Come on, come on, legends in the building. It's the God MC right there. No doubt. Peace, ready. Peace, Queens, you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. uh, let them know this is New York. Hold on. <laughs> Came up on you know I me. Mean? This is dope one right here. This is a good one. Something. 
You don't want to be in the picture? You don't want to be in the picture? No, I'll do it Gentlemen, can I please get a shot? That's what keeps me going. They got history in this thing. Yo, Turn my mic up. Turn the motherfucking mic up. Oh, yeah. Let me get my Let me get my Come on, Come on. 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 Well, you got it? Square? Right, I got it, I got it. Right, let's go. Right here, right here. Right here, we gotta get it. 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 Yo, you know what this is, keep shocking. Ketchup, giving you a shout out. Ketchup Quadra, give me a shout out. Keep shocking, the public enemy bone squad in the house. Alright, peace.
of words, check out my melody. That's when we started saying the spelling of our craft is not going to be M dot C dot only. We represent, we recognize that. But when you came with, with E, M, C, E, E, a smooth, whatever you said it so in so many ways. Yeah, the donut don't but that's, me. But that's when we started to say, that's when the term MC and MC came out. In that way, if anything, to teach an MC in course, there has to be Rakim stamp on that. And royalty should be going to you for that kind of knowledge. You change the whole course of how scholars speak about our culture. So while I have you here real quick, and Rob's setting you up as well, <laughs> this is the deal, is that, so when you think hip-hop museum, everybody got ideas and so on, but what are our ideas? Start with you, Rob. When you see a museum, just off the top, what do you see being preserved? You walk in the place, what do you see going on in there? Well, they trying to they trying to preserve it as best as possible, man. Mm -hmm. But it's like what you're saying, man. We need somebody in charge of certain things so we can represent it in the right way. You know what I mean? Um, it's good that it's there. You know what I mean? But again, man, let's 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 make sure we know what we put in there and let's put things, you know, there that deserves to be there and when people see it, there's no question. It explains itself, you know what I mean? And and, and that can start, you know, bringing that 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 information or or bringing the uh you know, the 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 you know, the, the I don't know, the the blueprint so that they'll know like when they go there this is what it is, whatever they see being represented, man, they know, like, yo, this is it. And, and you know, we need that, man. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. The realness. Bro. Well, let me just say, I actually teach hip-hop education for the city of Newark. Mm. Um, I, I've developed a, a six-week curriculum. I, I take a, a group of 15 kids at a time every six weeks. And each week, I take them through each decade. Week one, they're going from the 70s to the 80s, week two, we do the 80s to the 90s, week three, we do the 90s to the 2000s. Like, I, I literally, and I'm literally teaching them, like, okay, this is break dancing, b-boying, and, and, and I, you know, I take it as far back as the origin, like, in, in, like, for instance, in the case of graffiti, I'm teaching graffito, the, you know, the, the actual Latin terminology, mm -hmm. like, going back to hieroglyphics, um, break dancing, uh, you know, they're learning. They they have to tell me, they have to be able to name at least two significant uh, b-boy crews and uh, Rocksteady, New York City Breakers. Um, then we teach them about emceeing, and, and I take it as far back. Matter of fact, Hakeem, where's Hakeem? Yes, shout, shout out to Hakeem. He, he's actually my, uh, you know, he, he's, he's my right hand with the course, so... Yeah. I, I had him come in, and he, he gave a beautiful PowerPoint presentation. I think, uh, like for me, I think it's mandatory that the new generation learn this stuff. And I don't expect them to necessarily 
vibe to our music, but they at least, if they want to be in this business or a part of it, they have to at least know mm -hmm. where it started right. or the, you know, the mindset that went into it so they can have a better understanding. I think it would help, you know, as far as the disconnect between the, the older artists and the newer artists and, and just that, you know, just have that respect level. If they, if they, they may not be able to relate to the struggle, but they can at least understand it and, and, and understand why, you know, we feel how we feel about certain things going on with the culture now. Definitely makes a difference. Mm. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> thanks. Thanks for that. This is, this is the type of scholarship we need in order to build our museum from the ground up. There's several. We're not um, uh, affiliated with any specific museum. Uh, you know, I've worked with the Universal uh, Hip Hop Museum as well. But there's also, uh, th 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 look, this, this scholarship, like you said, I'm now going to be part of your course. Yes. Uh, I would love, oh, my goodness. No doubt. I must <laughs> I would, come. I would fall to, out. I will must <laughs> be there. And you know, I'm, I'm, we're going to deal with that. Okay. Um, but this is what it is. Your hip hop itself, okay, <laughs> sitting <laughs> This is what should be speaking on behalf of right. the culture, yeah, you know okay? I mean, Hip-hop itself right. and right. be represented right. right. Uh, in, in that sense, Rob, what you was talking about, you said the objects in the actual museum should tell the whole story right there. The people who come in and see the stuff, the stuff should represent the whole culture. No Just, you know, how could you jump in? What, is that, what does that look like? Um, because there's something to be said about subjective learning, meaning learning that is in you, I'm going to learn this and put this on me, and then objective learning, we're going to look at an object, we, we're distant from what it is, we're going to look at it and we're going to interpret it, yeah. what is that, is, is that LL's hat, is it run DMC's turntables, yeah. is it a piece of cardboard, yeah. is it a piece Car of cardboard, is a card. <laughs> well, wait, wait, wait. just a piece of cardboard. We 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 might we, we, we <laughs> might we might we we might need that's like pinpoint like perfect right. that's where it started a piece of and went from the cardboard then it was like yo how about some anoleum but you got to go back to the beginning right. all we had was cardboards in the beginning right well nobody ripping up no manoleum or going to find no manoleum right. until we start realizing like yo this craft is so crazy right. it's so dope right. let's take it to the next level man this ain't, this ain't, I can't spin fast on this. Nah. Right. Yeah. But, I spending, right. but I was spinning in my kitchen. <laughs> right. And I spun for like four, five minutes. In the kitchen with the dough. Let's go get that manolian, man. Yeah, right. So it, it's all about the same way we was doing it, man. We was sharpening our craft. We took it from, you know, ground level. And then we realized, yo, we got something here, man. Maybe if I start putting a little couple extra syllables and a couple extra, you know what I mean? Mm. Same thing from the cardboard to the manolian. DJs, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, we watch we we watch her take it from throwing a joint on, letting it rock. Like, oh shit! We might need a cool her turntable. Like mm -hmm. one of the, yeah. the B ones. What was you on B B twelve? This was belt driven belt shit. Belt like, oh. Gerard turntables. <laughs> Gerard, we had to deal with. To see that um, turntables putting the bands out of business. Mm. So to come up with Technique 1108 direct drive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that was <laughs> and, 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 and that was like Prince looking at the guitar in the window down on 40th Street. <laughs> <laughs> right. Can I get that? Mm. Oh yeah, and other was Thorn, um, Thorns. From Harvey's Harvey Equipment Store to Sam Ash mm -hmm. and Church Street. Wow. Down there, you know. Of, uh, uh, Canal Street. Mm -hmm. That's where the audio business is. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's like my whole man helped me get the big Macintosh. No, it's, 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 been, it's been refurnished. It's in dry dock. Yeah. 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 It's ready to be birthed. We need to get on that. I, I ain't smoke it up. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? One, I, want, I, want I, want add, I want to add on. Just context is like very important in terms of the power of hip hop culture mm -hmm. from the beginning all the way to there's some old stock footage of Ronald Reagan over near the, um, the Cross Bronx Expressway before it was the Cross Bronx Ex Expressway when he declared that that area you know the Bronx was a you know a war zone mm -hmm. and that there wasn't any value there mm -hmm. and it was to be written off right so with the, the technology we got today if you walk in right and you get a hologram of Ronald Reagan in that footage 
telling you what's there, but then by the time you leave the museum, you see all of the wonderful and, value. And also, he was the DJ. He was the DJ. His name was DJ Dutch. And he was the DJ. And he was the first person born the hip hop inside the White House on the second inauguration. Are you serious? When he played Bomb the Rock yep. and I stood up. I'm looking for the per perfect beat, that's where I set the tone. Wow. So that's black people history where hip hop comes from. If, if you're a historian and all of that, but you never talk to me. <laughs> you can't talk, you gotta talk to me. I'm just saying, yeah, here is that, there is that, right? right. <laughs> no, <I'm> walking. You <laughs> talked about, um, I, I, I think I read or heard in, in an article, you said, uh, part of the way in which you wrote your rhymes and the, your early inspiration came from uh, jazz horn playing. John Coltrane. John Coltrane. Yeah. That you would rhyme, I mean, that you would write according, like as if somebody was playing. A, a, and, and, and some of the rhythms that he was doing. Like, um, what it was, I played sax. Um, Wait a minute, stop up. there. My mother, my brother, my mother sang jazz to opera mm -hmm. in Brooklyn mm -hmm. back when she was going to school. She even sang at um uh, the Apollo uh, amateur night. Like she was, she was going for 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 a thing until my pop stepped in and was like, "Yo, we gonna go out here and buy a crib and sit down." You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But my mom was going hard, man, and my brother, you know, took the torch and he played everything from you know the piano to you know woodwinds and shit like that, man. So I came up under, you know, a good roof of good music. So first thing, you know, that made sense to me was join the band. So I played I played the recorder in kindergarten over the third grade. And once I got in the fourth grade, they gave me my sax. And I played the sax all the way up to 12th grade, man. But in, in, in the midst of that, I fell in love with John Coltrane, man. The way the way my man did his thing. Yeah. It was like, you know what I mean? And, and That's a giant. I heard John Coltrane play two notes at one time. And being that I played the sax, I knew that that was impossible. <laughs> you can't play two notes at one time. Because once you hit a note, that's that that's note. You hit another, that's that note. So how are you gonna play two at one time? Right. You know what I mean? My man, you know, set his mouth to the point where, you know, he he, he can make that happen, man. So when I heard that that not only made me think of taking things to the next level in that in, in that case, but it was like, yo, listen to what these cats are doing. Like they really innovating music. Like they not gonna come at you and play the same thing you can play. Right. You know what I mean? And that's the difference. We gonna give you something that you can do so you can see this is where the this is where the rule is at. This is where the measuring stick is at. And Hearing what John Coltrane was doing, man, the solos and the rhythms that he was doing, it was just in me, man. And I, you know, I started realizing, like, holding on to all them rhythms that I heard in jazz, when I started sitting down to write rhymes in hip hop, I wasn't just hearing one, two, three, four. I was saying one and two and three and four and what da 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 what da what da what da da da. You know what I mean? So I started realizing, yo, if I can, you know, fill in all of this. <laughs> space with rhythms and, 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 and you know intellectual words that are, you know grab them and, and four or five syllable words and, and you know what I mean I figured out you know I can make the same rhythms that he was making by using certain syllable words and using certain syllable words after each other you know what I mean so I took it from a flow and a flow and a blow and then gold and a blow and a to blow and then do 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 blow and do 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 blow and do 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 only the elite be there this right now. We got a jewel in it. We got a jewel in it. Yo, what's crazy? This shit is a movie. Fuck that. 